We recently sat down with three Huron River Rat basketball players a few days before their senior night. Carl Wilson, I'm a senior at Huron High School. Caitlin Brownlee, I'm a senior at Huron High School. I'm Emily Marsh, I'm a senior and I go to Huron High School. Their final night as players inside the Green House. This class's four-year reign over the SEC Conference has been a pain in the side of their opponents, and these young ladies have played a major part in it. 58 wins, four SEC Conference titles, three district trophies, plus a regional banner season. These are my girls. <laughs> Build them for you, for well, three, Caitlin. Emily Ford, play A, do all of that, and I just love them to death. Caitlin, what song do you love the girl pregame? Uh, playlist, I listen to you. Um, I listen to the both by Drake and um, Gucci I listen to Black and Bougie. I listen to Black Beatles, because you know that's my favorite song of all time. So Black Beatles is like the ending, that's like game time. So I listen to Black Beatles. Four years. What um, has your biggest adjustment been with your basketball over the four years? Um, well, my biggest adjustment was probably coming straight in and having to run as fast as high school does, high school varsity, and probably the defense aspect of the game because here our high school is known for our defense and how running jumps and traps and all that. So, how is here our basketball made you who you are? Um, in a lot of ways, like starting out as a freshman day in varsity, I was expected to like know drills, know how to do things, pick up everything really quickly. And like, I think I just like, that helped me in life. Like freshman year in school, I had to learn how to like time manage playing through sports. I had to learn how to get my homework done and go to three hours of practice and get everything done and be able to like go to bed at a reasonable time. It's just, it helped a lot for that. And just as a person, like hanging out with a lot of people in a great community, like a family pretty much, like it just makes you a better person. I would have to say when we do team bonding, because we all just so funny and goofy together and everything just be so fun and it'd be like a family. But the the funniest moment I had with you guys was when Danny was rock climbing and her <laughs> leg was shaking and we're all like, Danny, what's going on? And she's like, nothing, you guys, I can't go any further. And it was just so funny because everybody was just watching her leg shake. What's your biggest adjustment from last year's team to this year's team? Probably like my position on the team. Last year I wasn't like a main scorer. Mm -hmm. I was more of like, I definitely put points on the board. I definitely was like, I was starting and I was doing stuff. But like this year I feel like I'm more of a presence on the court. I'm like, both of us are putting up big numbers. Caitlin's putting up big numbers. Like we're expecting to do that. And like just defensively, I'm getting like matchups that I want. Like with really hard matchups that you like, you want to play good against. And it's just, it's a little different, but it's a great adjustment to make. What advice would you give to um, the underclassmen that's here now? The advice I would give to them is to keep pushing and don't listen to anybody that tells you negative comments. Um, to keep working on your game every single day, even when nobody's watching, and to be uh, on top of your game all the time and don't let anything stop you. And what are your plans for next year? Um, next year I'm going to Bradley University and playing basketball and studying uh, pre veteran stuff. But um. I've really been looking into Central, but I do want to go to college for psychology. My plans for next year is to go to the University of Illinois at Chicago, play basketball, and to study communications. I'm a goofy person, and I smile a lot, and you couldn't like tell that on the court, I'm sure, but because I'm serious all the time on the court, <laughs> pretty much. But um, yeah, I smile and I laugh a lot, and I love hanging on my friends all the time, and they make me laugh. Caitlin is a funny person, I'm always laughing when I'm with her, and she is one of those people that cares about her friends and loves to be around them. And, <laughs> and yeah, she's a great basketball player too. I model some of my game after her. One thing most people don't know about you. Um, that I can sing, boom. Um, I play the instrument, I played the clarinet before. I played the flute and guitar. Well, not really played it, but you know. I asked for Christmas <laughs> and I got it, so I did something. But um, I really cherish like friendships. Like I take friendships really seriously, um, and I care about everybody. 
It may seem like I don't on the court sometimes, like I might come off a little strong, but I really do care about everybody. Just shows it in different ways. I want to have a, uh, you said you could sing. Oh, I knew it, okay. let's do it. <laughs> let's do oh, it. Just no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. You said you was funny now, but you said you were funny too. <laughs> Did it, Kate? Did it. I don't know what song to sing. <laughs> I'm going to sing a song I always sing. Y'all all staring at me. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> I remember years ago, someone told me I should take caution when it comes to love. I did, I did, and you were strong and I was not. My illusion, my mistakes, I was careless, I forgot. I did. There y'all go. That was great. <laughs> Let me just get you a round <laughs> <laughs> These three players, along with fellow senior Maria Hill Carruthers, will keep their eye on the program they've been a part of. For Bill Hall and Sports Production Services, this is All Access View. I'm Kevin Bryant. Can we do that all again? Show your